Hey guys, welcome to my channel and hello to all my new viewers. My name is Tanae White and today I decided to record a get to know me video so that you guys can understand who exactly you are subscribing to. Duh. So let's get right into it. So I started googling like get to know me tags and honestly they're a little hard to find. It's a little hard to find these questions just because they ask like really weird like questions like what underwear are you wearing like why do you care about that but i found a good one so i'm just gonna scroll through actually i found this one it says 371 random get to know me tag questions i'm not gonna go through all 371 no 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 but i'm gonna try and get through all the really good ones that i'm sure that you guys would like to know Okay, what is your full name? Tanae Ecole White. What does your name mean? It doesn't mean anything. My mom came up with my first name. Um, my middle name is the middle name of my late aunt who passed away when she was a child. So my mom gave her middle name to me as my middle name. Um, and then my last name, obviously my parents are married so I acquired my dad's name. <laughs> Where are you from? I am originally from Baltimore. I was born there and raised there till I was five and then I moved to Connecticut um, where I was raised most of my life but now I'm back in Maryland due to college and grad school and me just loving the Maryland DC Virginia area versus Connecticut. I hate Connecticut. <laughs> Who did you look up to growing up? <sighs> Top of my head I just think of Tyre Banks like I just was mesmerized by her even as a kid like I would walk in my uh, family's living rooms and just strut down the hallway like it was a runway um, yeah my earliest memories are just of me loving to runway walk and loving the whole concept of modeling so I think that top of my head Tyra Banks which of your parents are you closest to um, I would say I, I'm split down the middle um, I think I'm closer to my mom when it comes to woman things like hair, makeup, uh, romantic comedy movies, um, but with my dad, like, I feel like my dad and I have a really close relationship when it comes to um, talking about concepts and life and um, changing the oil in the car. He taught me how to do that. So like where, when it comes to more tangible things, um, or more um, things where you have to really think deeply, um, me and my dad bond uh, on that level. So I'm not a daddy's girl, I'm not a mama's girl, I'm like right down the middle. What is your best physical feature? My clavicles, <laughs> which I've highlighted today. Are they glowing? Can you tell? I love my clavicles. <laughs> what is your biggest fear? Dying with regrets. What is your biggest regret? Allowing people to get me out of my character. You don't deserve that power. What inspires you? I am most inspired by people who live their most authentic selves. I know that you know with society especially in today's today's day and age it is so hard to be yourself because people are always critiquing you and people think that what they say to you you should follow and if you don't do that then you're a demon um, so I really appreciate people especially those of the LGBTQ plus community especially minorities especially you know, just anyone who doesn't fit your stereotypical normal person. I have the utmost respect for people who live for themselves and stay true to themselves um, and don't do anything just because society says they can. Um, I respect anyone who does any of that. What has required the most courage of you in your life so far? <sighs> Living. Um, I say that because when I was a teenager, I almost committed suicide. And so every day 
especially now with all of these great accomplishments I'm, I've been experiencing lately, I just think to myself, man, like I'm so glad I didn't kill myself when I was 16. Like I literally think that almost every day. So I think living and getting through the tough times, um, I think that was my most courageous feat. Yet. What is your favorite color? Teal. As you can tell from my wall. <laughs> what is your favorite drink? I love Marg's. If Marg's aren't available, then I'll take um, a gin and tonic. I love gin, um, but margaritas, yes, with sugar on the rim, not salt. What is your favorite food? I love all food with the exception of pork chops and cranberry juice because I recently found out I'm allergic. A new <laughs> video coming on that soon. <laughs> Um, but I love all foods. I think my favorite foods would be cheesecake, cucumbers, broccoli. Mm. Anything cheesy pasta related. Um, fried chicken. Oh, what else? I love avocado. Pineapple. I love fruits and veggies. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why I can stay so fit is because I naturally crave healthy foods rather than like chocolate. I'm not really a chocolate fan at all. So yeah, those are a few, but I basically love like any food if you put it in front of me. With the, oh yeah, I don't like oysters. They feel their texture. Nah. Nah. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Butter pecan. What is your favorite physical activity? I really love salsa dancing and I promised myself last year that I would start taking classes and I pr promised myself in this coming new year in 2019 I will most definitely be enrolling myself in salsa dancing classes because I just I love it so so much. Uh, what is your favorite quote? I am wonderfully and beautifully made. My God. <laughs> what is your favorite time of day? Uh, I'm a night owl, so I actually really love the nighttime. However, I love sunrises over sunsets. What is your favorite social media channel? If I had to choose one, uh, definitely Instagram. What was your favorite subject in high school? Mm, lunch. <laughs> what was your least favorite subject in high school? Science. Anything that was science related, I just sucked at it. I would study for hours and hours and hours. No cards and everything and I would always get D's and F's. It's just not my forte. My brain was not built to be a science person. Um, and yeah, science. I hate it. Chemistry, animal science. Actually, I did like animal science. Geography. Nah, bruh. <laughs> Are you scared of heights? Absolutely not. Are you high maintenance? Absolutely not. <laughs> you may think I am. I feel like a lot of people think I may be just because... I got the hair, I got the makeup, but honestly, like, if we got to be somewhere and I only have 10 minutes to get ready, I will just go as I am. I have no problems with being raw. However, if there's a special occasion and I'm supposed to be showing out, you best believe I will be showing out. And it will look like I'm showing out. You better understand that I'm showing out. Does that make sense? Okay. Mm, are you more likely to avoid conflict or engage it head on? I'm a Taurus. Tauruses are very... How do I put this? They say that Tauruses are very confrontational. I mean, just think of a bull. The sign is a bull. Bulls attack. I don't attack unless I'm provoked. And I, as I mentioned before, I don't like being brought out of my character. It's not something that I enjoy doing. Um, I like to be in a state of calmness. However, if someone brings, approaches me with bullshit, you can best believe that I will address it head on. And I think that's fair. Don't you? <laughs>
If you had more courage, what would you do differently in your life now? Pursue my dreams um, and quit my day job. But I don't have that courage to do that and also I don't have the financial means to do that. <laughs> Who has the most impact on your life? My family. Um, definitely my parents, but I would de definitely say my great-grandmother. Um, I feel like I always hear her in my head as well and how to behave and how to interact with others and what to give to others. Um, so yeah, my family for sure. What's the weirdest thing you've seen in your life? I mean, I live in the D.C. area, so I see a lot of weird shit. Um, first thing that comes to mind would be about like six weeks ago, I was in D.C. shopping and this homeless man peed right in front of my car in broad daylight. And then I don't think he realized I was still in the car. So I like honked, I was like, hey, no, 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 no. And then he started cussing me out. So yeah, that was the weirdest thing I can recall experiencing. Also the scariest. Who is the best teacher you've ever had? My second grade teacher, Mrs. Tomasetti. I love her to death. I haven't seen her for like years. And the last time I saw her, I don't even think she remembered who I was, but she was the nicest teacher I've ever had and she just really f made me feel valued as a human being and it's weird to say that at, you know as a seven year old to feel those emotions but like I really appreciate her and the fact that I'm 26 years old now and I still automatically think to her like that says enough I loved her as a teacher and I really hope she's still teaching she's probably retired now but yeah she definitely left a positive imprint on my grade school experience <laughs> Who is the first person you call when something exciting happens? My mom, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see on my Sports Illustrated, um, one of my first Sports Illustrated highlight that she was the first person I called <laughs> when I got to the top 16. Can you do a split? No, and I never have, and it's that's been a life goal of mine. I've been, since the age of four or five, I've been a dancer, ballet, jazz, hip hop. I've been a gymnast. I've been a cheerleader, I also did track, which you would think to be flexible in, but I've never been able to do a split. I know, doesn't make sense, but I will die being able to do a split. I vow that to myself. Can you whistle? Do you remember your dreams? Not when I'm stressed. Do you save old greeting cards and letters? Yes. Uh, I actually have a box of stuff. <laughs> Um, from family members and I also have an Xbox where I keep all of my cards and letters and little trinkets from my exes. I know that's very weird but I just have it so yeah <laughs> get to know me do you sing in the shower I sing everywhere do you sleep with the lights on or off off mm -hmm. do you prefer kissing or cuddling it depends on how good the kissing is. Do you prefer the Titanic or the Notebook? Titanic, classic. I mean, they're both classics, but Titanic is more of a classic. Do you have a catchphrase? Um, I say bro a lot, and I think coming from a Connecticut culture, that has always been in my vocabulary, like, come on, bro, or dude. Bro and dude, I use a lot. Um, and when I use it with other men, they sometimes get offended, like, oh my god, she's calling me bro, like, she's not interested in me, she's friend zoning me, like, chill, bro. <laughs> um, and then another catchphrase that I have is, I'll be like, um, come on, man. Like, I just say that, like, whether I'm, like, driving on the road and someone, like, cuts me off or something, like, my first thing to say is, come on, man. Or like, really, man? Like, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> do you have a tattoo? I have zero tattoos. I may get one in my life, but if I do, it'll be really small and inconspicuous. 
Do you have a whole lot of acquaintances or just a few very close friends and why? I have a few close friends and that is because I'm an introverted ex extrovert um, and so I cannot give my energy to a lot of people and then also I realized especially as you get older like a lot of people aren't really your friends and so as you get older your group gets smaller and then what you have is what you have so the people who I do have are of quality I don't really care for the quantity um, and that's just how I feel do you have pets no but by the time I get married or when I get married, I'm going to have at least three dogs. What is your most used swear word? Fuck. What is your star sign? Like I said, it's Taurus. What is an ideal first date for you? Um, anything with food and good conversation. What is at the top of your bucket list? I have to travel more. Mm. I feel like that's vague. Hmm. What is at the top of your bucket list? I don't I don't think there's anything that's at the top. I feel like everything is at the same level and whatever I can get to when I get to it, I can get to. Like I wanna be a business owner for sure. I want to be a millionaire at minimum. I want to empower women. I want to travel the world. I want to see Bora Bora. <laughs> um, I want to see Fran Fran. I want to see France. I want to see um, Africa, the motherland. So I feel like there's a lot of things of different varieties that I would love to do. I don't necessarily have a top of the bucket list. It's just a bucket full of stuff. All right, let me do a few more. How many boyfriends or girlfriends have you had? I've had too many boyfriends. <laughs> That's why I don't have one now. <laughs> How many pairs of shoes do you currently own? Um, not enough. <laughs> uh, I think I want to say I have at least 20, which sounds like a lot to maybe the average person, but when I look at my other friends' closets, I really don't have shit. <laughs> How old do you think you'll be when you get married? I'm um, like 31, 32. Yeah, I think so. Would you ever consider living abroad? Yes. How many days could you last in solitary confinement? That's hard to say. Um, I would say I could last like maybe two days. Have you ever suffered a fracture? I've never broken a bone in my body that I'm aware of. Have you ever ridden on a motorbike? Yes, my dad used to own a motorcycle and we would go riding all the time. Have you ever taken self-defense lessons? Yes, my mom forced me to go to self-defense training before I went to, uh, before I went to college. Um, and then last year I took a Krav Maga class, which I really enjoyed. It killed my body though. Um, and that's also something I want to take up more um, in going into 2019. At what age did you go on your first date? I think I was 17 when I was allowed to have my first boyfriend. It didn't last long. He cheated on me. What flavor of tea do you enjoy? Ginger tea or chai. Love chai. What is the scariest movie you've watched? The Conjuring. I think that I'm a scary movie buff, but that was like the first movie since I was a kid where I was sort of scared to go to sleep. <laughs> what is the farthest away place you've been? Poland! To visit my BFF. Where do you buy your jeans? I love Abercrombie jeans and that could just be the fact that I used to work there and I was a manager there. Um, so I understand the quality of their jeans and I love their jeggings. Um, but also Forever 21 has great jeggings. I mean not jeggings, great jeans. What time is your usual bedtime? Between midnight and 1am. Like I said, I'm a night owl. What kind of books do you like to read? Um, growing up, I loved young adult fiction. Um, I love sci-fi fantasy. Aragon, to this day, is still one of my favorite books. Um, but lately, especially as an adult, I really love self-help books. I love books 
um, about empowering yourself, like the subtle art of not giving a fuck. If you haven't read that book, I highly recommend you do. And with that being said, I think this is where I'm going to stop with this video. I hope you guys <laughs> had fun watching this video. I hope that you understand me a little bit more. Um, and I hope that you still like me and don't think I'm weird at all. <laughs> um, but I will be pumping out a few more videos that will go out over the next few weeks. So please continue to stay tuned. Um, thank you for subscribing and have a great day. Thank you. Mwah.